World Food Program came with a policy of categorizing refugees and this has affected a number of them. Some refugees are given food while others are given cash for food. The refugees say from 14 kilograms of food it has reduced to 4.5 kilograms. From Lobule refugee settlement in Koboko district Mambu Kasoli, a Congolese refugee says due to categorization of refugees in cash for food, some refugees under category 3 are left out without receiving cash, forcing them to self-repatriate um currently uh, because of the prioritization uh, there are some refugees who used to go back but uh, still because of the war uh, they are not feed of it uh, yes. we have category one category two and three category one gets 28,000 per one person in the household and uh, second get 14 category two then category three cannot get any. It is stayed without getting food for the whole man. A mother of three children, Anarete Takua, is a refugee from South Sudan in Rhinocam settlement whose names were removed from the food benefit list. But when she complained, her name was restored under category two. But uh, because of some orphans that I still have, so they tend to, I went to the complaint desk and they have to bring me back to level two. But there are many colleagues that are already in South Sudan. They moved because definitely they know that there's nothing they can do. And some of them are in area where you don't have any space for cultivation. There's no any source of earning. You are just at home. And some of them have even the vulnerable people that is are expected to be given food at home. But since they are being cut off, they have nothing to do. So hence they just think like, let me just go back to my country. If anything happens, whether it's dead, what, it should get me in my country. So those are the conditions that force them now these days to go. A person gets in a month, for the month, 14,000 for the month. That one is not enough, for real, it is not enough. There are many who were going back because of that. At Eden Zone in Rhinocam refugee settlement, the new arrivals from South Sudan are equally affected with the meager food given to the families. Margaret Najut is one of the new arrivals in Eden Zone and explains the food challenge. I receive uh, maize, uh, beans, oil, then that is all. Side is three. The community service officer at office of the prime minister in Rhinocam settlement, Jean Pierre, says food rationalization is forcing the refugees to repatriate. To, to funding gaps, uh, UN head and, uh, and, uh, and other stakeholders have moved to, to the categorization where, category, where there is category one, category two, and category three. In category three, you realize that the persons of the concern don't get support in terms of food or cash for food. In the category two, they get very small money. In the category three, also equal get money, which may not be sustainable for at least one month. And practically, it can be a reason for which many of them in the courts, I want to put in the courts, are leaving the country or the nation and is trying to go back. According to Pierre, the funding gap is the major cause for the food crisis. It is not our desire to, to tell them to go back. It is because of the, of the funding gaps, which, uh, which is now evident, not only in Uganda, but also in other parts of the world. We are aware that the donors have all of the drawn, and uh, not all, of course, they have reduced the funding, and this funding cannot no longer now sustain our persons of the concern with the food and also cash for money as it used to be. Office of the Prime Minister has continued to ensure implementing partners provide support and livelihood for the refugees to grow their own food for self-sustainability amidst the food reduction.